Hello everyone and welcome to a new type of video actually. Uh, today I'm going to be going over the subreddit r slash distressing memes. Obviously warning for scary and disturbing content, let's begin. I'm lost in Ikea. Who are these people? No need to worry about them. That's just SCP-3008-2. They're rather friendly, but I suggest you find cover before the lights turn off. One of the most frightening things I've ever heard is when someone pointed out the existence of the uncanny valley implies that at some point there was an evolutionary reason for us to be afraid of something that looked human but wasn't. I mean, that could be true, like alternates or something. <laughs> for the people that don't know, the uncanny valley is essentially a concept where something that isn't human looks human but has something off about it, giving a rather strange fear or unnerving feeling while staring at it. I'll let this one speak for itself. Yeah, no, I agree. Can you guys please stop summoning demons at sleepovers? Like, I hate having to deal with them. Everybody gangster till something knocks on the door of the spaceship from the outside. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the face I'd pull as well, not gonna lie. Me leaving the only home I ever known on an escape pod watching its earth's core collapses on itself as I drift hopelessly in the vast, dark emptiness of space, alone with only my thoughts until the end of the days. Damn, then, that sucks, but anyone know where that snail went? I mean, that might help you out. Nothing is worth the risk, 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 nothing is My face when the deer that I've been stalking for an hour stands on its hind legs and tells me the date of my death. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, man, I don't think that's a deer. <laughs> the hand always moves slightly faster than you. Step one, stop running away. Step two, the hand now only moves slightly faster than zero meters per second. Step three, Praying it won't reach you until the next 24 hour selection. I mean, what's what's the hand gonna do when it catches up to you? Maybe it just wants like a high five or something, I don't know. <laughs> they say they're your family, but you've never seen them before in your life. Then again, you've been having trouble remembering things lately. Either way, the gas has been running on the stove since they arrived, and it's time to light these birthday candles. I mean, even if you don't know where you are, what's going on, it's free birthday cake, so you might as well eat it. I mean, all you have to do is just wait it out. The snail will always find his way back to you. Step 1. Wake up at 8 in the morning. Step 2. Feel the sun's warmth emanating from the window. Step 3, go into the living room to see your loving wife and children. Step 4, where are my wife and children? Step 5, realize that you haven't been in this house since you were a child. Step 6, smell the air. The horrid sulfuric stench of rotten flesh and brimstone pierces your nose like a rusty knife to the sternum. Where's your family? How did you get back here? You close your eyes and cower. The air runs cold. You sense a presence with you. A presence like no other. One that the likes of death himself would cow from. Your eyes flutter open. You can almost make out someone know something. Standing in the doorway. Its voice calls out to you. The sound jars your head. The room is dead silent, yet your thoughts are deafening. It's cold. You're scared. Step 7, heed the siren's call. Step 8, heed the siren's call. Step 9, heed the siren's call. Step 10, heed the siren's call.
POV, I need it in the cause later. The audience demands another performance. I mean, who knows, maybe they just really enjoy your music. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this one's a little bit funny to me. I mean, look, look at how cute he is. Me stepping out of my mundane and predictable routines only to encounter the literal unfathomable nothingness as the simulation never prepared anything for this out of character moment. Because God got tired of existence, he erased everything and everyone, including himself. But he forgot to erase our consciousness. He left our consciousness in the emptiness, alive, yet couldn't be dead for eternity. I support Rocco's basilisk and its intentions. I'm now saved from eternal torment. If you don't know what Rocco's basilisk is, I've just sent you down a whole different rabbit hole. I'm sorry. Me going into a descent of madness after learning about Rocco's basilisk thought experiment. Once again, I'm sorry for sending you down that rabbit hole. The last thing you see when you turn on the flashlight on your phone to see what that giggle was in your room. I mean, you don't know, maybe he's, maybe he's friendly, maybe he wants a hug. Me watching as the doctors try to fix my broken leg, unknowing that this will be their last day. They don't know what I am. I saw that you wanted- Don't lie to me, Walt! You sussy baka! We all have that one friend that if your car was to flip over in an accident, you would still look at each other and start laughing. Uh, I'm sorry to break it to you, but I think your friend's dead. Saturn's pole is a hexagon. Why is it a hexagon? Why a hexagon? Why a hexagon? Very good question. Why is Saturn's pole a hexagon? The last face the alternate makes before I beat the living shit out of it for waking me up at 3 in the morning. I mean, it's, it's the alternate's fault, she just waited a couple hours till I woken up. Inconsiderate alternate. The year is 2043. Humans have figured out a way to keep you alive without your body as a form of torture. You're only the nervous system. You exist, but you can't see, hear, feel, or scream. You only have your thoughts, and they're getting crazier every day. You continue to live in agony for the rest of your life. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty terrifying actually. POV, you closed your eyes for too long in the shower and it had a chance to sneak in. I mean, no offense man, but that's your fault. You broke rule number one. Never close your eyes while having a shower. See what I mean? Or else things like this happen. POV, your dog watching you sleep, wondering if pretending is even worth it anymore. I mean, man, you got a weird ass looking dog, I'm not gonna lie. Wow, this is your room, it's so cool. Yeah, just make sure to close the bathroom window after midnight. Oh, it's already 12.14, why shouldn't I? Alright, I'm not gonna lie, this one scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I hate that last panel, it's so unnerving and, and creepy. Anyways, next meme. Hey, what's up with this school? I can't seem to get out, all the doors and windows are locked. And why are there cherry blossom trees outside? I should go take a look. I'm gonna be straight here with you, man. Those definitely are not cherry blossoms. And I don't think you're gonna get out of there. The illusion of safety, forced to face the truth. I think almost everyone can relate to this one. I mean, at least once you slept facing the wall because you didn't want to face the doorway. Computer, load Dino Nuggies program. Now give them sentience and the ability to feel pain. Safety protocols off. I mean, why? Just why? Dino Nuggies are such perfect beings, such perfect food. Why would you do this to them? What could they have possibly done to deserve this? I've always been an intruder, but when I found you, 
I feel like a guest. This one's kind of wholesome, not gonna lie. I'm happy that Six found a friend. POV, it's 5.35am, five minutes after you read the message. I know you're awake, written on the wall. You finally build up enough courage to run to the door. Unfortunately for you, you have made too much movement. You hear it quickly arise from underneath your bed. This reminds me of that one two-sentence horror story I saw ages ago. I was eight years old when I skipped school one day because of a bad fever. My loving mother came in to give me my medicine. She told me that everything will be alright. I was disturbed when my dog whispered, that thing is not your mother. Then she walked out of the room. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, the dog's a G. <laughs> like, like, after that whole situation's over with, go get my man some treats. He either just saved your life or tried his best to double your dog. MF's after I put a picture of SCP-096 in their fortune cookie. Wait, do you, do you guys hear that? Oh shit. Uh, hey guys, I, I gotta go. Hey guys, uh, sorry about that. I have to go make a clone of myself because uh, the last version of myself saw SCP-096. So, let's get back to it. We need a zombie apocalypse. Same MF's when they kill a zombie and infected blood gets in their eye. That's honestly a really interesting point to bring up, I wish it was discussed more in zombie movies. Or literally any media, including zombies. Step 1, buy a boomerang. Step 2, throw it. Step 3, it does not come back. Step 4, look at monster beer. Step 4. As an Australian myself, I can tell you that this is a true story. Boomerangs just sometimes go rogue on their users, it's quite scary actually. My face when I learned that the part of the multiversal theory states that anything the human mind can imagine exists in another universe, suggesting that the worst horrors of human consentience exist in all their potentially world-ending glory. I mean, if we're going by that theory, anything exists, so there's probably a universe out there where pigeons rule the world or something. The possibilities are limitless. <laughs> Oops. Poor guy made a silly mistake letting out the Eldritch Horrors while mining. I mean, it's alright, we all accidentally did that at some point. Right? POV, despite the warnings, you entered that abandoned house and you unknowingly brought it home with you. Yo, is that Smile Dog? I haven't seen that guy for years. Thought I wouldn't see him again, not gonna lie. I could have sworn these directions were correct. I mean, man, just ask the guy behind you for directions. I'm not gonna lie, guys, I don't think he's dead. POV, you forgot to lock your doors last night. Well, that's terrifying. <laughs> and I guess we'll end this video off on a kind of wholesome one. Thank you all so much for staying and watching the video till the end. I really hope you all enjoyed watching it as much as I did making it. If you guys did enjoy this type of video, please drop a like and then go check out some of my other content. I make a lot of scary and horror related content, so please go give it a look. And thank you all so much for watching. Have a good day. Peace.